Welcome to today's edition of Lean Talk. Special thanks to our sponsor EMS Consulting Group and our fourth time returning guest from London, the UK's favorite lean guru, Rafi Lee. My name is Lucy B. Lean. Lucy, it's truly an honor. I love this show so much, I'm considering hosting a similar show in England. That would be awesome. It's an honor to have you on the show again. As you know, I will be asking a series of questions related to leadership and lean or operational excellence. Last time you gave us some great information on getting started with value stream mapping. Can you talk about the actual process for VSM? Certainly. The value stream mapping process involves the following four activities. 1. Identify the scope and team. We discussed this last time. 2. Map the current state. 3. Map the future state. 4. Develop a value stream plan to achieve the future state. Let's talk about the steps to mapping a current state value stream. Imagine you have your team in a room or in a virtual meeting. The first thing to do is understand and document the customer or process requirements. How often do we need to complete one unit of product or complete a service? What is the desired turnaround time? Next, the team needs to identify the major process steps. Wherever there is a stopping point or handoff, there needs to be a new process step. Use one sticky note per process. The team should then identify metrics. What data do we need to know for each process? Person time? Machine time? Setup? Etc. Next, the team should walk through the process and collect data. If this is a virtual event, the team can do this between sessions. Next, the team should ask how each process knows what to work on next. Is it a push system? Finally, a timeline should be created. Great introduction. How do you go about doing the timeline? What's next after that? The timeline compares the total lead time, or turnaround time, from start to finish, to the actual hands-on value creating time. We add those numbers up. In the case of a production process, we might estimate the total lead time from the total number of days of inventory in the process. In other cases, we might measure the turnaround time directly. The hands-on time is based on summing up the processing time for each step. After the current state has been mapped, the team can begin to identify key wastes. What is slowing down our value stream? Where do we see problems occurring? Wow. That's exciting. And then you move on to future state? Exactly. Then we can get the team to develop future state concepts. Some general considerations include working to tack time or establishing a service level, eliminating push systems and moving to pull systems or continuous flow, establishing only one scheduling point, leveling the workload, and identifying specific process improvement opportunities that will pay off. Thanks. It sounds like there is a lot to creating a future state. Can you give us some more details on creating pull or continuous flow within the value stream? Absolutely. These are key. We want to move away from push systems since pushing results in very volatile lead times and inventory quantities. We end up with overages and shortages. In lean thinking there are two types of pull systems and there is continuous flow. When we connect two or more processes via continuous flow, this is ideal. Think of an automobile assembly line running to a 60-second tack time. Each process is completed within 60 seconds and moves to the next step. But not all processes can be continuous flow. In such cases we need to have some inventory between steps. That's great stuff. I assume the pull systems you are talking about are type A and type B, in other words replenishment pull and sequenced pull? Spot on. And the same applies if the value stream is a service or information-based value stream only. We still need to move away from push systems and control the flow. We have done this in healthcare organizations, software and tech companies, insurance and finance companies, it doesn't matter. As long as they have value streams, you can use this technique. Rafi thanks so much. VSM is such an exciting topic and you've done a great job of explaining it. So, folks, that's our show for today.